The IT recognised the need for consensus-based practitioner guidance for the maturing solar PV industry. The Code of Practice supports practitioners in understanding the latest standards and technologies and applying good practice to safe ways of working across all scales of solar PV installation. Obviously the market's got bigger and bigger and people have built things that weren't expected, so the fields etc, large rooftops. And it was, they all struggled because there was nowhere to get the necessary knowledge. What we've tried to do is say, we've got to have a, a code of practice that goes right up to whatever size people want to build and it's going to continue in the future, so let's get it developed. The code of practice is really an evolution from, from previous guides. It was needed partly because the old guide just didn't cover big systems, it only, re only really covered up to 50 kilowatts. It was needed because internationally there have been a lot of changes to standards, international requirements that we just had to reflect. Solar is it's a, it's a relatively new industry, so how do we show to, to our clients and customers that we, we've got some, we're reputable, we're, we're trying to improve quality and demonstrating that, and this is one of those steps towards it. It's a new, fast-growing market, and people specialised into PV and they became experts and we're now able to let the mechanical and electrical contractors really get involved um, with fitting PV as a matter of course. And here's a guide that actually tells you, yes, you're doing the right thing, rather than you know, the industry five years ago fitted and learned on job. It helps to, to make things easier because there are many questions around the, the installations that are not addressed in any somehow um, standard or another kind of manual. In this case, for us, it's very easy because we can address uh, to our customers to this, to this uh, guideline in order to be sure that the installation will be done especially in a safe way. I see that whole document is very useful for everyone in the solar industry, but particularly the new sections which weren't exist or in depth in the previous MCS guide, such as high voltage connections, battery storage systems, lightning and surge protections, array frame earthing, and so on. Maybe compared with our markets, it's very detailed regarding the, all the stuff around the, the, the installation, how to calculate the installation, how, what to take into account from a safety point of view, uh, which kind of protection you have to install, in which way. I mean, this is very hel helpful for the end customer, the installer, to be sure that, that the installation will be in a safe, uh, done in a safe way and a professional way. And also for us, giving us some confidence that the panels are being installed uh, in a proper way. I spoke to an installer a couple of days ago who's been doing systems for a while and they put their first 300 kilowatt system in following the guide and they're actually pleasantly surprised. They said actually it wasn't really that different to what they've been doing before. There was a few changes but it, was, it wasn't a, you know, a sea change. It was, it was very easy for them to follow. You've got to involve everybody that has any interface with it, including the DNOs, including people that do wiring regs and electricals and things like this. So that consensus of opinion was all challenged, put into the document. One thing that makes me really excited is when we get lots of comments, because you know you're tapping into an interest, you know people are reading it and actually thinking about the issue. So we actually got over 500 comments on the draft. That gives it total credibility. This new IET code of practice will build confidence in this technology for contractors and customers. It's the coming of age of PV with this guide. PV has arrived. The introduction of the IET code of practice gives a, gives a visible um, demonstration to, to the industry and, and, our, and our clients of, of a commitment to, to quality. I think anybody that's serious about staying in this market should not um, question taking a copy and taking it home for some bedtime reading. Mm -hmm.